Okay, um, Berserk 9, 101-105 to 105. Conviction Arc Lost Children Chapter of Fire How about you step aside? <laughs> Jill Mrs. Don't Jill Guts Wait a minute What are you thinking? <laughs> You're pissing them off even more here Quit rubbing them all the wrong way but I think it doesn't matter anymore. Look, it's an elf. It's an elf. Is, is he really on their side? <laughs> ow, ow, ow. Not, now everything is all gone all wrong. Everyone, please stand back. He's wounded, so it'd be really dangerous to approach him. Coming through. Jill. Mom. Oh, man. Old man. <laughs> Oh damn. He needs to make it convincing. Give it up. My body's going numb and I don't know when I'll lose control. You brute. Mrs. Ah, evil. Ah. <laughs> this is turning to the list of all available evils. Ah. Damn. Yeah. And I imagine he's. I think, yeah, I think he was somewhat poisoned from the last. In the fight against Rossini. Why? Why? Oh, it's his dad. It's her dad. Man, he's not even trying. <laughs> this is far enough. You go on home. Hey, now. Just go on home. You put a knife to a girl's throat. She's bleeding, ain't she? You know, Ayara. Fist. And now she ain't. See ya. Sorry about all that. Yeah, man. Damn dirty. He's leaving. You're going to the Misty Valley, aren't you? I'll go to... Jail. That girl, that big elf, she might be my friend who vanished a long time ago. So, so what'll happen? Yeah, yeah, give it up. As you saw, she's not human anymore. I'm about to go kill that friend of yours. If you come with me, what'll happen? This is really interesting because I think, I guess we had the count before. I guess another apostle that, man, it's been so long since that time. Where the, I guess Nosferatu was also an apostle, and they showed emotions, they showed personality, and they had, they made choices that are, um, would definitely make guts question. I guess it would make him more hesitant towards killing them, especially if he learns more about them. I guess it would be a lot harder but I think I guess that's that's what Guts has been able to steal himself is to have the resolve to do it eventually but yeah man this is going to be rough and who knows but I think not all of the the apostles are like that but I think it depends on the eventually we, we will meet up someone like Rosine, man, it, she's like a child, and oh, man, this is going to be rough. Stay away. Ah, hey, this ain't some kiddie game. He's going. Is it? It is this is is this it then? The end. Will it begin again? The way things always are there. Yeah. Even if she goes home and. She's not. She's still not even safe from her father. Nothing changes. Nothing ever happens. Like it's always been. I would love for her to go with cuts, but I'm also worried about her. But I think she's the strongest. Um, I think she'll be more important than guts realizes, and I guess how he will be at least be able to 
I guess maybe get information regarding um regarding the apostles like the god hand because what if he doesn't really have to kill all of them because i don't know by the looks of their first fight if it weren't for jill guts might might have been possibly killed same way when he fought the count he almost died there as well if it weren't for the count's daughter so i don't know we'll see <laughs> this is getting uh i guess a, li a lot more conflicting rather than just him slaying all these de demons these apostles it sounds you thought it was that easy then they then <laughs> and then give them personalities you give them man you give them a name you give them um give them an identity a family a friend it's not as easy as what it was anymore man look at you unbelievable why you gotta send and go got why you gotta go and say those things being all grown up and blood in front of a tender little girl she gives you shelter and food and you repay her like that don't do those things teach the youth yeah come on let me see your wound Wow, ah, that does it. What's, what the hell's your problem? I'm only gonna say this once. I got no recollection of making you my pet. <laughs> Quit buzzing around me. I'm sick of it. No, damn. I'm not a pet though. Hey, don't say that. Without me, this story will. <laughs> Man, that's a meta. Such, so meta. Without me, the story would be way too dark. You gotta have color in your life. <laughs> Man, but if only gods knew that. Puck has always been there. I thought I told you before, seeing elves makes me want to vomit. It makes me want to crush him. This is what I I think we still haven't, still don't have an idea what is a, what, how he came to this kind of um, feeling towards elves. Cause um, I don't think we've he've met elves before. I think this was the first time I guess so far that I guess in the two years who knows but I think um cuz yeah the first time I guess from the first ep first chapters he did said this before that he makes seeing elves makes him makes him wanna vomit and I thought maybe it's because he had history with them but so far from the golden age that wasn't the case it maybe it's I think I guess it's possible it's within the two years that we still haven't seen so yeah it makes me want to crush him dog thing you can't be forever <laughs> how I can at least take a finger down with me one man one kill yeah he's going to collapse yeah he's just pushing himself and <laughs> he still wants to fight Rosine oh sure had enough eh Come get, come get some more. Fine. See if I care. Hmm? Oh, what's that? Is that a foot? Maybe. Yeah. Oh, that's that's what's making him vomit, not puck similar to the girl that they met damn whoa a snake i guess it's for food lost too much blood On top of that poison awareness, cocoa, coca leaves. Looks like it's gonna be a long night. Yeah, it's going to eat him, of course. And he, is, he he needs to strengthen his resolve. Oh man, the blood, the brand. Ah, oh, his child. And the thing is, it's growing. <laughs> it's much larger than 
This is the first time we saw it. And oh damn. The children. Damn, this is messed up. What the Was it you? Did you drag them here? Oh man, <laughs> Jill, why didn't you just come with him, not go after him? This is much danger. I guess Puck is with her. Oh, so that was Jill who was who saw, who was who saw Puck. Okay, chapter two. Damn. Man, poor guts. Conviction art. Lost children chapter. Red eyed peacock. Damn. Whoa, whoa, man. <laughs> I think this would be way creepier if they're, you could hear their cries. Damn. Bastard. You really know how to get under my skin. It make me babysit rats all night while I puke, puke up blood of this blood. Fair enough. If it takes me all night to cough this stuff up, at least I'll be able to pass out in the mud come morning. No sweat, no beast will ever attack you if you're with an elf. Oh, really? Is he really an elf, I wonder, or just some shady creature? <laughs> Idiot response, this heading. Hey, it is okay though, Jill. Is what? You know, even if you are with me, it, it ain't it bad news for a girl to be out this late. Besides, they're not elves, they're dangerous like monsters. Gods being how he is, you can't depend on him. And it's not like that queen's gonna become human again if you go to her. You might regret this. I'm sure I would regret it. Whether I'd followed after him this way or gone back to the village instead. Either way, probably. But, but right now, I've already come this far. Jill, look. Yeah. He's, <laughs> he's not even getting a break. A time, yeah. I think, yeah, the last, the last time he got sleep was with Jill. And it wasn't even, I think I w it didn't even last that long. But he was able to sleep. At least that time. But I don't think he could sleep again. Man. Man, the anxiety, the trauma. Even his dreams. He can't even have a good dream. Damn. Oh man, mommy, where are you? <laughs> Damn. What are guts? Damn. This is this is a uh, a persona he needed. But yeah, d definitely it will eat him up right after. He's just really f pushing himself himself to do this. It's no use. He's totally gone. Mommy. Damn. Man, I guess I, w I really want Jill to be with Guts now. But the thing is, it would also, it would somewhat, I guess it's also a good, maybe it's a going to be a good thing for him personally. Because yeah, he, he's definitely somewhat losing it. And, oh man. Mr. Swordsman. Hey, hey. Move, you're heavy. 
the bug with you, huh? Oh, <laughs> I hurt myself on the rocks and can't move. That that not not that I want it, but oh well. Sprinkled the, his dust on me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, whatever. Just hurry. Why'd you follow me? Pikaf, huh? So what is Pikaf? Pikaf the outcast. All the kids around here know about that. It's a fairy tale. Long ago in a village, there was a boy named Pikaf. Oh yeah, I think they mentioned... The kids were mentioning Pikaf? With pointed ears and red eyes. His parents loved him very much. But he was always bullied by the village children because of his eyes and ears. They called him Red-Eyed Pikaf and Pointy-Eared Pikaf. Pikaf thought this, is, this isn't my home, these people aren't my real parents. Because neither Pikaf's father nor mother nor even one person the whole village had red eyes or pointed ears the way he did. One night Pikaf snuck out of his house without his parents knowing. He went to find his own real parents in his own real world in which to live. He made his own way alone into the forest where elves were said to live where the grown-ups said never to go and Pikaf found them. They had red eyes and pointed ears. Certainly they were the same as him. But this is what they said to the overjoyed Pikaf. You're one of us? No, that's not true. You haven't wings to ride upon the wind like you do. Seeing Pikaf's confusion, one of them informed him of something. Long ago, a human man and a woman brought a baby here who was close to death from illness. We have broken the law of our village and entered this forest to save this child. This child is our life. We somehow save him. The, the man and woman pleaded desperately. They granted their request using babe magic on the baby. The baby's life was saved when in exchange. His appearance was altered to half resemble the elves. Even so, the woman and woman cried tears of joy. So it is here. Her, I guess this is a good thing that Pikaf is learning about his parents that yeah they, they did they did it for him but it only mattered that their child lived but yeah he didn't know when Pikaf heard this he ran off in great haste he tears in his eyes and went swiftly back the way he'd come but when Pikaf returned to his house it was all too late for some strange reason even though he'd only been in the forest for a few moments in the village a hundred years Oh, on top of a small hill between the village where he no longer knew a single person in the elf forest where no human was allowed to live pick off the outcast cried and cried his red eyes swollen and redder not much of a happy ending Rosine loved that story in fact she once told me I'm just like pick off Damn. So she wants to go back home. But yeah. But why are they murdering murdering the adults? And I guess why is is it her that's transforming the children? Man. This is going to be <laughs> But why is she yeah, why is she telling guts? I guess to make but this will definitely sh uh, shake the resolve of guts and killing Racine. But who knows? Maybe maybe he could, <laughs> he might discover a new way of dealing with the apostle. I guess, yeah. Rather than just killing them, man. And we even going to have a backstory of Racine. <laughs> Racine was a girl four years older than me who lived across the street. To me, an only child. She was like a big, a real big sister. Conviction arc, the lost, lost children chapter, the recollected girl. Rosine was a little strange. She liked playing in the woods and seems like a boy would. And she do things like catch bugs and small animals to proudly show to me. She had lots of junk the kind of boys the kind boys would consider treasure oh the belly yeah the oddest of all was an egg-shaped stone that looked like a human face she said she said she found it on a river bank 
and always took care of good took good care of it we'd play in the woods and stream so long that suddenly the sun would be starting to set that kind of thing happened often but when i think about it now it was because Asine avoided going home yeah maybe she was yeah she was also being abused I didn't understand because I was so young, but Rosine's parents fought a lot. She was al- o- she was always the reason. She'd often have bruises and hurt on her cheeks and arms. At those times, she'd always tell me, Chill, the story of Pikaf isn't really right. In the real Pikaf story, it turns out he really is an elf. Even now, he lives happily with his real father and mother in the land of the elves. And to tell the truth, I'm just like Pikaf. I really belong in their land too. She turned to me as I looked serious and impressed and grinned in a funny way. Like she was forcing herself to be cheerful. And these poor children. I heard about this later on before I was born. My village got wrapped up in a big conflict. At that time, almost all the villagers had taken refuge in the forest and were safe. But it seems not all the women escaped. Among them was Rosine's mother. Oh, damn. Rosine had to grow up listening to her father's remarks. Damn. So she's, she's not even mar- married to her, her father. Just that she was, I guess, a victim. And she was... my stuff it's like is that really my daughter then one night when it was raining heavily man the, I guess that it's it's the men that's making the monsters themselves who's there shh Rosine Jill this is goodbye I'm leaving oh, damn look at her Poor girl. Goodbye when you're going. Where else would I go? The Misty Valley. I'm going to the land of the homes. Farewell, Jill. I'll leave all my treasures to you. Hosine, farewell. The grown-ups sh- searched the forests and mountains for days looking for Hosine. But in the end, they weren't able to find her. Then, oddly enough, a few days later, her parents also vanished from the village. Almost like they followed after her. There was a wooden box with all the treasures Rosine said were mine now, but looking through it, that strange stone was the only thing I couldn't find. Then some time afterwards, those elves started attacking villagers. I didn't really understand being so young, but now I feel like a bit, I do a bit how Rosine felt then. Hey, hey, that strange stone Rosine had, was it like this? Look like this. It's the same as hers. What is it? A freeloader at my place and my mother. <laughs> Pillow. <laughs> Betchy. <laughs> Betchy the Behelit. My place. Totally settled. <laughs> this is a magic stone. Bring back my Betchy. Yeah, this is way bigger than what Griffith had. A magic stone that summons angels who grant power to weak little humans angels they might just be demons disguised or something like that even i don't get how you used to d- use this to summon them but your friend ended up doing it she obtained that pseudo elf form in exchange for something something funny that you mentioned fairy tales it's just like pick eyes and ears you gotta have some collateral for stuff like that they require a sacrifice they tell you to present what's most important to you in return for your power Oh, her parents got a few days later her per- her parents vanished you said good thing it's not <laughs> Jill because <laughs> I think it, it might have been Jill Rosine offered them up to have her own wish granted her own parents lives as sacrifices Let's put an end to this. This is this ain't some kid's fairy tale like pick up. It's a gruesome grown up fairy tale. If if you and if you stick your neck out any further, you'll end up dead next time. I'm not stopping my sword. 
Uh, it's a good bluff. This is no place for some kid to snuck off from a loser father and a powerless mother. By the but <laughs> this is really brutal guts to go wandering around in your innocence. Hold on, don't you think you went a bit too far? Kids have their own fairy tales. Yeah, you wanna escape? Stick to pick up. Get back here now. Yeah, I guess he's, I, I think Guts is just really Guts doesn't want um, Jill to follow him because I think he's also thinking that she might yeah she might be in danger eventually. But yeah, man, I don't know. Or oh, it's gotta be this way. You keep going on about kids. Well, excuse her for being one. This is child abuse. I'll sue. <laughs> regulations are sick. This is. Regulations take these days. If you keep doing what you please, you will get banned. <laughs> man, this is so meta with. I guess with. Man, you're worried about getting ba banned. This, but they've already d done a lot of messed up things. Hey, what you doing here? There? <laughs> you're as fairy tale as they come, and you never learn. Let me out, you little. Jill. Jill, don't let that rotten creep say says get you down. Kids can't be blamed for being what they are. There's nothing really wrong with you or a scene, Jill. It's just that kids always suffer, and it's society that's to blame for that. Yeah, but it's embarrassing and frustrating. By the way, Jill, I kind of got stuck trying to get out. Oh no, Rosine. Ros. Oh, she wants to play Rosine. It feels like ages, Jill. Rosine, is it you? Damn. <sighs> Man, what is. G oh, he's going to go back. Maybe he'll see this and reconsider. <laughs> Man, but I, I guess I'm kind of worried because I guess another thing that may happen is Rossini might. Because Jill is somewhat vulnerable right now. She might just ask Jill, would you like to be with me or something like that? Oh, she, she changed. Oh, yeah, I guess I forgot that. I, I keep forgetting that um, apostles had their. Had their human forms conviction are lost in the world of wing things boo damn but I guess she's her ears are still the same somewhat the same but her face changed more human like so that's Rosine look how big you are now Jill almost as tall as me already is it really you Rosine but the way you look mm -hmm. aha we look look well it's like i used to tell you this is the real me the real yep the queen of the elves rosini offered them up to her to have her own wish granted her own parents lives and sacrifices oh jill this is like old times there's lots we should catch up on are he by extend you an invitation huh? to our land of the elves the misty valley and what I guess these are kids that she transformed because she, she was taking kids with her but the Misty Valley uh, but I she's allowed right 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 and they they I guess because of the tale of Peacock they made their own I guess own elf I guess their own own world their own forest wait a minute I it's fine fine don't worry about the thing it's a good place you can play and have fun all the time even after the sun goes down it's okay I won't drop you oh no Jill oh no guts damn <laughs> he's really going to swing for it ok 
ya. Y... Oh. Stop it. Please stop. Messina, please. Jill. Gods, you seemed uh, you seemed about to kill Jill too. Did you mean to kill Jill too? So what if I did? <laughs> Albatross that blow. A special move from a pro wrestler killer can is the delivery from the top rope of a smooth simultaneous Mongolian chop in and knee thrust. <laughs> Soft spot. Her rotten. I already figured you were a rotten creep. I never thought you'd stoop this down, this low. Even a som zombie fails at being as rotten as you in human scumbag, dirty rotten bastard. From now on, when I see you, I'm calling you the bastard swordsman. So anyway, that being said, you disgust me. I hope you get killed, jerk. So goodbye, so long, bastard swordsman. Oh, did I hold back somehow? Yeah, man, cause... Yeah, man... I think he did. Knowing guts... Never. Sub subconsciously he's, he's definitely going need to click and see there I hope you don't need to be scared Jill I won't let go no matter what look it's a view no human could ever see the world as seen only by birds and us winged elves incredible the forest the river so far away the sky it's so vast beautiful I didn't know the world was this beautiful my village so small I can't see it anymore. In that tiny place, I become frightened and small. You can fly all you want to your heart's content, chill. That is, yeah, if you become one of us. Yeah, but... I guess... I don't know what to feel how to... How to feel about I guess Rossini cause one thing you want them to enjoy being kids at the same time they're kinda killing people so I mean I guess you could you could stop the suffering but yeah they're not really suffering but it's also like I guess a like a I guess a fa I guess like a fairy tale, like God said. You can fly all you want to your heart's content, chill. That is, if you if you become one of us. If they're not hurt, I think if they're not hurting anyone, they're not taking kids or taking killing people, killing the adults. I think it would be okay to let them run around, but they're kind of endangering a lot of people as well. So it's definitely conflicting, but. Yeah, I think guts, guts might really. Man, is Jill going to be another person that would hate guts, similar to the Count's daughter? Me and F, but but I I couldn't. Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? That black swordsman. Who is he? Eh, Jill, you have a thing for him. It's not that. <laughs> right, I don't know anything about him. It looks like he was heading for the Misty Valley. I wonder if he'll make it there, huh? The valley is guarded by some dependable grown-ups. Grown-ups, yep. They never would... They would never hurt children and protect... And they protect us with their lives from all who would hurt us. They're real grown-ups. Protectors of children. The forest guardians, you'd say. The mist is everywhere now. This feeling. I, my, I, must, I must be just about at the Misty Valley. Oh, the oh, 
this is what happened to the band of the hawks so this is our all This is the band of the hawks Because I think the adults were being killed eaten by the 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 little I guess the bugs the the, the bee like um, Fairy uh, elves Because yeah, I think we saw this Before the eclipse and I I, I think we saw like a praying mantis. I guess Rosina was there too. And their bodies are rotting. Kehe <laughs> ki Oh We meet again. Hehe. <laughs> um wild. Man, it's been so long. Don't say you forgot about us. This is wild, right? Thought he was killed already. Don't see. You can't. I, I thought he was swallowed by like because Nosferatu. Some. It's like he was swallowed from within. You can't pass anyone who'd hurt the children. We won't let any of him past this point from bandits to babysitters oh no no <laughs> i thought it was wild it was uh the ones that was killed at the tree yeah that the ones that he saved from uh the the the, the ones that he saved jill from from the from as and from human to something else by the look of it. Ooh, what is that? <laughs> That's creepy. <laughs> I guess like a cockroach? What kind of insect is this? It's like a scorpion. Damn. Centipede. Now, uh, what's this called? It's a beetle. Stag beetle. To him. Gee. Oh. Damn. Pierce through his neck. Oh, above him. That's kind of deep. Two. Damn. Oh, there's tons of them. I guess that whole ball of humans were. 
damn <laughs> ah man how is he going to survive this yeah that's he's going to lose a lot of blood even more there's still a lot of them guardians one and damn Yeah, it's it's never it's never really easy him fighting these monsters, and there are tons of it they even had tons of unexpected I guess tricks and um, things that yeah I don't think gods have any idea about. So, and the fact that he's still going to face all of this and ev eventually fight against Rosine I don't know <laughs> where he would get all that energy from and yeah even just surviving that is definitely man Guts fighting against the monsters never has never looked easy and uh, especially like tons of them dozens and eventually when he comes to face Rosine she's also very I guess she's not strong but she's definitely very quick so I think if anything it's one of the weaknesses of guts but I, I don't know I think Jill will be a factor on how Rosine will be defeated eventually but I, I think that might make her similar have the si similar um feelings towards like animosity towards gods the same way the count's daughter but the thing is i i, I kind of also want jill to come with gods eventually because i guess because i don't think she would going back home would really um yeah she she just be end up being abused eventually but i guess i don't know i i don't i guess you can never really say you can never really feel safe and secure in this world wherever you go <laughs> i guess the exception would be the mountains where kaska is staying so maybe gods could bring her <laughs> to there i don't know was really really i guess scary once I guess that's um, going to be another tension if ever um, Jill comes with him because Jill is going to be the one thing that you would be worried about whenever Guts into a f goes into a fight because you know Guts is going to be even though he's, he goes through this um, deadly situation you know he's going to survive but someone else who's with him might not so but yeah um he definitely hold back when he tried to swing to for <laughs> for jill and uh, rosine but he had i guess that was his instinct going through but another i guess another instinct that kicked in is yeah killing these children killing the killing the innocent has never been i think guts uh, that's not how guts has really trained himself he has always been fighting wars but he i don't think he ever killed someone who i guess i guess he did <laughs> he did kill a kid as well when he he killed um the 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 son of the of the general who was like the the brother of the king when griffith um tasked him to assassinate the the brother he happened to kill the kid as well so i think that was the r rare time where and he really had uh he was really s that really scarred him again as well so yeah this is going to be definitely i guess a conviction <laughs> i guess the conviction arc title so it's definitely going to test his resolve and yeah, it's definitely hard going to be hard 
especially now that we learned even more about Rosine but yeah even though they're kids I guess uh, there will be there would still be consequences but man there she's just just wanted to be man I don't know how to feel about it because one thing is yeah she just she just really wanted to escape from that life where she was being abused and i guess now of of all the time jill is able to relate to that so but i i feel like jill wouldn't want to be a part of the i don't think she would agree i think that might be what i don't know how rosina will act to that but uh, I think she's still sane enough and I guess knowing that yeah, th- they're trying to have this fun be able to play around but at the cost of the lives of the villagers so yeah uh, I don't know <laughs> yeah so that's pretty much it with this read through and if you would like to share your thoughts let me know in the comments down below and uh, um, yeah if you did enjoy watching my read through please leave a like and make sure to subscribe for updates regarding my read throughs um, on YouTube and if you want to watch my read throughs on the next chapters right now uh, you could also check out the link in the description down below and um, if you decide to support my channel and also would like to thank my patrons for supporting this channel and help me helping me continuing this and making reaction videos and videos like this and uh yeah thank you for watching cmx video have a great day bye